Hello, Mojo Pin again. We are here for Achievement Hunter. The game is Left for Dead and the achievement is Untouchables. Untouchables is no survivors take damage after contacting the rescue vehicle. Although my name is not on the screen here, um, I did play with these guys trying to get this down to a science and uh, we practiced it for quite a bit. These guys went ahead and did it uh, after I left and got it in one try. Enough of my sob story, I got it the next day. Although we didn't discover this, we uh, took a tip from something we read on the internet and uh, moved ahead with it and tried to perfect it and make it as simple as possible for this video and for you guys to get this achievement at home. It might take you a couple times to get it. It took us several times to get it. Just one little thing goes wrong and you have to start all over. And uh, we're gonna point out some key things in this video to, to help you out in your endeavors. We're taking two people up to the roof and we're leaving two people down in the safe room. Here we go, we're heading up to the top of the hospital, the very, very top. You're going to come out, and you're going to look over to the building with the satellite dish on it, and you're going to see a door over there. Door right there, that's the Jesus room. I don't know who called it the Jesus room, but somebody called it the Jesus room. Two people are going to jump over, you're going to climb the ladder, you're going to get up there, and you're going to stand on this ledge. Uh, it's important to stand on the ledge because it attracts the zombies down below. Only the zombies can break down the door. You can't blow it up, you can't take it out with a gas can, there's no way to open it. It's a, it's a glitch, obviously, and it'll probably be fixed by the time the update is out in a couple weeks, so you should probably do this before that happens. You're also going to see that the two survivors coming up here are still inside the hospital for some reason. It just it seems to work. You attract more zombies with two people on the roof instead of splitting them up all over the place. The door to the Jesus room is open, and what you're going to do next is you're going to go around the entire map and take out any remaining infected uh, for the guy that calls in the radio. Again, one hit after you call it in, and uh, you, you pretty much blown it and have to start all over. So just feel free to clear the map, take your time. Uh, we got some gas cans on this spawn. They're going to set them out. They don't actually use them, but they can help during the race to the helipad uh, to keep zombies off of you if you don't have any pipe bombs for whatever reason. Okay, they're going to call it in. You can see the three people just sitting in the in the Jesus room waiting. Okay, they're going to come up, and then you see them all standing behind this line on the floor. Uh, we don't know if that's mandatory. We just stay behind it. It seems to work. It seems to work fine. Uh, we don't cross it. Now, they forgot to do this at the beginning. If you go into options and select audio video, there is an option to run um, full captions. And when you run the full captions, it will tell you uh, stuff you really need to know since you can't leave this room. It'll tell you when the helicopter's here, it'll tell you when the tank dies. Basically, once you get in this room, stay behind this line after you've called it in. With the exception of one, there's one right there, or two zombies, uh, you typically won't see anybody. Nothing. You're just going to sit in there, scot-free, waiting for the helicopter to call. Sometimes the tanks die instantly, sometimes it takes them ten minutes. So it's really a waiting game and it can get, get really boring like super boring and you might be tempted to shoot around the room uh, you could damage somebody so don't do that uh, the other thing you're going to notice is people are kind of moving around it's best to just move up and down or left and right if you go idle uh, your bot will take over and you might end up doing something really stupid okay you can see the room shaking uh, that means the tank is out there I'm just going to wait it out he's not coming in he ain't coming to see you you ain't got to worry about him just sit it out and coming up, you're going to see on the screen uh, the chopper's here. For some reason, it didn't say tank death, but it will when you turn on full captions. The one thing you do have to worry about when leaving the room is there shouldn't be a horde, but you do have to watch for special infected. They actually do run into a smoker here coming out of the room, camping up there. Bastard. Running. Throws a pipe bomb. Draw the horde away. Up the ramp, up the ramp. Okay, second pipe bomb going out. Freeze frame to show you that. Okay, one or two common infected. Whoa, Francis. God damn, that was close. You almost blew it. You're all right there, too. Hop in the chopper. Done. Fantastic. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, well, here, I won't make you wait for it. That sexy little noise. Dink. 30 gamer score. Untouchables. Way to go. Uh, so again, do this before they fix the patch. Uh, that's that's my suggestion to you. You got a couple weeks, so I hope this helps. Uh, this actually works. Sorry about the last video. It was just a joke. If you tried that, you really need to go outside. <laughs>